you have a Star Wars Legion army, there's a very good chance that you have these barricades. Let's get some paint on them. I'll show you how easy they are to finish. The Star Wars Legion barricades do need a clean up first. They have these three very visible and very distinct mould lines which will impact our painting. You can remove them with a hobby knife with a scraping motion but be very careful. My preferred method, however, is with either a flat or a half round hobby file. Whichever method you use, I've found a round file is best to get into these parts of the model. And once the mould lines are removed, get them outside and give them an undercoat. I'll be painting these up to match a set of terrain at my local hobby store, Beyond Odyssey Games and Hobby in Balcatta in Western Australia. If you're in the area, drop in, greet the team, and see these results in person. Pause the video now to see the colours used. I'm going to gradually build up the finish through the Ashen Grey and then the Dawnstone via dry brushing. I'm stippling on the Ashen Grey. I want maximum coverage with the first coat, but still maintain the black undercoat to create shadows in the recesses. Next I apply the Dawnstone in horizontal lines, catching the raised panels. Start with a light application. If you want to make the Dawnstone more pronounced, simply add more brush strokes. In this case, we're using the Eschen Grey from the previous step to create even more definition in the shadows. And finally, a highlight, this time using the Uthwan Grey, is applied lightly over the whole barricade. This is to catch the raised areas to quickly and easily create your highlights. And so, with a simple controlled dry brush, you've added some concrete style texture to an otherwise untextured miniature. From here, the miniatures are essentially ready for battle. You can add them to your tabletop now, but let's add a couple more details and make them looking really good. I'm taping off some areas to apply some bold red markings, but these could be any colours to suit your different themes. I've elected to paint this a little rough, with the edges of the red markings not quite extending to the edges of the panel. This is to imply some weathered and chipped paintwork. Regardless of your preferred colour, it's still very important to make sure that this is a solid coat. After this, the tape is removed and ready for the next step. Here, 
I'm using an old brush to apply some chipping using the Rhinox hide. I've elected to use a brush here as I found it easier to control than the traditional sponge chipping technique. I think it is important not to overdo this step. Start small, see how it looks, and add more if required. You also notice that I'm turning the model over so that the brush is catching the edges of the panel each time. Here, I've added some contrast athematic blue onto the screen on the back of the model. And finally, to simulate dust, a light dry brush of Steel Legion Drab is applied to the bottom of the barricade. Now that they're looking this good, let's deploy them onto the tabletop. And that's it. What do you think? It was really easy, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, like the video and subscribe for more content. I hope to see you guys in the next video, where I'll have even more Star Wars Legion content coming out in my part two.